This is Cetacosaurus, a ceratopsian from the early Cretaceous period. Cetacosaurus was assumed to be a herbivore, with its beak-shaped mouth used to eat seeds and foliage. All right, hello everybody! Primordial Tyrants has dropped their Cetacosaurus here, and we're going to go through these subspecies very quick. Here is our balanced subspecies here. We've got the quills on the tail. We got the spikes right behind the eye sockets on the face here and that iconic beak. Then we have our smaller horns variations. A little bit different here. Not not too much, just a little bit. Then our larger horns, they're definitely longer. And the quills seem to be a little bit shorter in the back. That might just be me. And then this version, I can't really tell what's different other than the quills seem to return to their normal size. This one, the quills are shorter again, and the face is definitely flatter right here. The beak is a lot more pushed into the face, kind of like a pug. This one, the face is back to normal. The quills are long, the neck is a lot longer here. This one also has the shortened quills, and the face is a lot more elongated than the original. It still has the long neck as well. Let's see the female skin right quick. You, as you can see here, it's a lot more brown. Other than that, pretty much the same. The male's was orange. Okay, let's go through the calls right quick. First, we have broadcast. That's interesting. I don't even really know how to feel about that broadcast. Two call. I like it. It's cute. A little head bob. Threaten. Ooh, it really uses the quills to great effect there. Four call. A little jump. Talk. Shake. Oh, I love how it tippy taps the back feet. Super cute. Look around. On the hind legs. And then our mystery. I don't know what to call that, but I feel like it's some kind of greeting or something. And then our invite is the same as our two call. All right, and here is the baby models right quick. The eyes are freaking huge. He's so cute though. He still has some quills, which are a little surprising. I didn't think it was going to have any as a baby. Either way, he's super cute. Let's go into the sounds right quick. Here's our broadcast. Oh, that's super cute. It's just very squeaky. Two call. Mm-hmm. Threaten. It's still pretty good for the baby. Sounds threatening. Four call. Cute. At the hop. Talk. It's a little warble there. Shake. Tippy toes. Look around. And then mystery. Yeah, it feels like a little greeting dance here. All right, let's go through some of the animations. Here's our walk. He's got that slight little wobble, but at least he looks stable. Very tippy toe. Run. Oh, he's fast. He's a fast boy. <laughs> Here's our jump. It's pretty high. I hope it's that big when you do the adult animations. Then we have our sit. Puts his arms under him, all tucked up, sleep. Oh, he rolls over on his side, kind of like horses do. When they're really comfortable. And then our get up. All right, and here's the adult model. He's actually maybe like three times bigger than the baby, so still not like huge compared to other dinos, but it looks really good. So let's go through the animations. First, we have our walk. Pretty much the same. You got that little wiggle. And our run. Uh, kind of moderately fast. Like it's fast for sure, but not like whoa you know <laughs> definitely fast though dr jump uh it's about the same height as the baby really it's not any higher or shorter then our sit same sit sleep over on our side 
Very cute. Our get up. Then we have our crouch. Our crouch walk. Sneaky, sneaky. Looking good. Uh, then we have our precise movement here. It's pretty decent. Turn in place and then our backup. And our left and our right. It's not bad at all. Here's our drinking animation. Takes a couple sips, looks around. Here's our swim animation. Does not really try much to swim. And even our speed swim, it's average. It's not bad at all. Here's the eating animation. Doesn't use its hands at all. Okay, let's go through these skins right quick. This is the female default skin. Next, we have Sulphur, Emerald, Reynard, Collard, Wave, Bandit, Albino, Melanistic, Groundhog, Helm, Finch, Marsh, Downy, and Tasmanian. I like a lot of these. Tasmanian looks pretty cool, actually. Now we're gonna look at the abilities. First, we have this, two times ailment amount. I'm not sure what that means, other than maybe you can get sick now, possibly. We'll see. 10% armor, 5% land speed, and 20% stamina. That's really good. These are all positives. For our head, we have one head slot. We have bite, causes medium damage, and then headbutt, a quick headbutt attack, can be used while running. Then we have our senses. We have Bastion, increases armor by 2.5% for each Ceratopsian in the group, stacks up to four times. Stampede, increases damage by 2.5% for each Ceratopsian in the group. And Stampede is here twice, that's probably just something they gotta fix. We got two slots for our front limbs. First we have Claw Attack, causes low damage, gives stacking debuff to armor. Debuff armor, okay, interesting. And then Burrow, dig underground to avoid damage, which is really cool, we gotta definitely test that out. For Metabolism. We have herbivore, able to eat berries and fruit, moderate food drain. Molluscivore, able to eat berries, insects, and shellfish, moderate food drain. Scavenger can eat meat, fish, carrion, and bones. Oh, okay. Fast food and water drains. We can be a little bit of a predator here. Then for hide, we have sharp quills, deals damage when bitten on the tail. Serrated quills, deals low damage and bleed when bitten on the tail. Poisonous quills, deals low damage and poison when bitten on the tail. And then tough shoots, which increases your armor by 10%. We have one leg slot. We have charge, charge forward in a line causing damage to anything you hit, which is kind of surprising considering how small Sotakosaurus is. But we'll see how that then one slot for back limb. We have long distance runner, reduces stamina drain by 15%. And then leap, which increases jump height and reduces stamina spent when jumping. Those are both pretty good. Tail. We have Venomous Tail Attack, an attack that causes light damage and venom. Serrated Tail Attack, an attack that causes light damage and bleed. And then just regular Tail Attack that does light damage. All right, we're gonna go through the ability animations right quick. First, we have Bite. Quick, very simple. Kind of uses the hands there too, so not bad. Then we have Headbutt. Oh, it's like a forward packy like Headbutt. Okay, interesting. I like it. Then we have Claw Attack. Oh, it's like a front kick, kind of like Lamb does, but with the claws. Not bad. Next, we have Charge. It's pretty much like Packies. And it lasts until you stop, pretty much. Or, well, it takes a lot of stamina. Next one, and the most exciting we have is Burrow. You can move while under it. You can move fast. You can't see me. Or even when I kick up dirt. I guess because there's grass everywhere. I don't know when it's going to let me come up. Or if I can just stay down here indefinitely. Oh, no. It forced me out. That was really cool, though. I love that. That's the best ability. Then we have tail attack. That's just the regular one. Then we have serrated tail attack. Does the same animation, except it's going to add bleed to your tail. And then the same for poisonous tail attack. 
same animation. So my thoughts on Satakosaurus, Satakosaurus is a lot of fun. Like I'm going to enjoy this so much. He's quick. He's definitely more of a hit and run. He's kind of like Packy. So it's like Packy, but like an even smaller, quicker, and a little bit cooler package. But yeah, that's about it for this video. If you guys like this video, thank you guys so much for watching and thank you for subscribing. Also, check out my other videos. Golagore also came out. Definitely check that one out. So again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.